guys, uh, this is a video on how to make a wrist laser gun. So, first what you're going to need is uh, a laser. I just had this uh, blue laser diode. You could get one of those or you could get one that's already pre-put uh, together. Next you're going to need a power source, so uh, a 9 volt battery or um, a battery that equals the voltage that your laser takes. Uh, next you're going to need duct tape. Uh, for tools you're going to need just a standard Leatherman thing. And it, this is optional but a soldering iron does help. You can just twist all the parts together. But a uh, soldering iron definitely helps. And last things you're going to need are the or are some solder wire if you're if you're gonna use a solder gun and a switch. I just have a standard push button one here. So first what you wanna do, um you can I guess you can use any material for this, but I'm just gonna use duct tape. So you wanna um rip a piece that uh will fit around your wrist like such. So make sure it'll go all the way around your wrist and you wanna rip like a few of these, so. So uh, once you do that, you should uh, attach them all together. Uh, you should come out with like this nice duct tape. Um, so what you want to do then is just fold it over itself. So like that, and then just get that end part. So you're left with like a nice wristband that the laser will be mounted on. Uh, next what you want to do is take more duct tape and make like a nice little thumb or something that, that'll fit around your thumb like that. So once you have that, uh, just to tape up the sticky side. All right, so once you have your thumb thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, John, you want to connect it to your uh, wrist like this and basically just attach it so it's all in one piece so uh, once you have the whole thing attached together uh, you're ready to put the laser on it okay so I'm just gonna use this one for demonstration purposes so basically um, the two ports or the two uh, positive and negative ends of this laser are the spring and the siding, so we're going to need to connect um, the positive and negative ends of the battery to that and that. So with your laser you want to find out which one is the positive terminal and which one is the negative. Um, do the same with your battery, whatever type you're using. You want to take one end of your uh, battery hookup. Uh, you might need to strip it down a little. But you want to take one end of that and hook up to the other end to your switch. So just connect those two. And if you have it, um, you can use heat shrink tubing to just um, better protect the seal. But more duct tape will work fine. So anyway, once you've finished it, uh, it should look like this. Just a, a circle, everything wired up right and you want to make sure it works. Uh, this battery is dead, that's the reason this doesn't work. But yours, uh, when you press your switch, it should work. Okay, and you're gonna, if you have um, one like this, you're gonna need to tape this switch down. So, to make this switch the main switch. But anyway, um, yeah, it should look like this. Uh, just to be clear, you want to hook everything up like this. So positive, negative, and they all want to be hooked up in like a circle. What you're going to want to do is take the switch and mount it to this thing. So you can just thumb activate it like that. And then mount the rest of the components. Just put the battery there and say the laser underneath there or something.
Okay, so this is the really complex version of the one I just showed you how to make. Um, I apologize, I didn't make the tutorial like, exactly for this one, but th uh, that was the basic idea of how I did it. Um, this one, the only difference is, is I and uh, this would be the main laser, the one that's hooked up to this, like so. And the, it doesn't look very bright because I have a really strong light on, but you can see it there. Uh, this other laser I added um, is a blue one. Alright, so let's go try it out. The lights. Turn it on. the light I have on my glove to illuminate it and all at once. Looks pretty cool. It's almost like an Iron Man thing. <laughs> 